How many of you are like me and have 1000 tabs open in your web browser? Or have been just having 100 apps open at the same time, overlapping each other, not knowing where anything is? In this video, I'll be showing you how to multitask on your Mac like a pro. Okay, the first thing you have to know is multiple profiles in Google Chrome. When I first open Google Chrome during the day, I usually have my personal email, my calendar, and YouTube open at the same time as default. After opening all of that up, I usually want to start doing my work stuff, which is a separate Google account. So instead of logging out of my personal account and logging into my work account, I have a second profile set up in Google Chrome. When you press on the second profile, it'll actually open a second browser, but this browser will be logged into all your work stuff and it'll be separate from your personal stuff. This makes it super easy to sandbox different work so you could have your personal tabs open in one browser and your work or school tabs open in a second browser. Now another Google Chrome tip that really helps multitasking is the ability to pop and drag tabs into separate windows. So say you're using Google Chrome and you're starting to look into a project that you wanna work on and you wanna have a bunch of tabs open for researching this project. Another way you can do this is actually drag the tab out of the window and have a separate window come up just for this project. Then you can open up multiple tabs in this browser and not have to worry about mixing all of this stuff with your other tabs. And say you change your mind and you wanna put this tab back in the other browser, you can actually just drag and drop the tab right back in where it was before. The next multitasking tip I have for you on your Mac is something called Mission Control. To access this on your trackpad, use three fingers and swipe up. You can also create multiple desktops and drag things between them so you don't have a bunch of things overlapping each other. You can then just swipe between your desktops and have separate workspaces for everything. Now another pro tip for Mission Control that not many people know about is if you make an app full screen by pressing the green button, you'll have a secondary window just for this application. But if you go back to your primary desktop and you start dragging another app on top of the full screen app, you have something called split view. And now you have two apps open side by side in full screen mode, and you can adjust which one's bigger, which one's smaller, and work side by side at the same time. Now me personally, I don't like using full screen apps. I like having a lot more than just one or two applications open. So I found this application online called Spectacle. It's a free download, and it's made my workflow so much better for multitasking. What Spectacle does, it allows you to snap applications into different parts of your screen. So what I usually do is have two different Chrome browsers open, one for work, one for personal work, and then I do one on the left side, one on the right side. But where this gets really cool is if you have more than two things open, you can use four quadrants on your screen. So you can have one thing on the top left, one thing on the top right, one thing on the bottom left, one thing on the bottom right. And this is so easy because you just use keyboard shortcuts to snap things in place. Once you memorize these shortcuts, it's just so quick to move things around. You don't have to worry about dragging and dropping anymore. But don't worry, if you don't want to memorize a bunch of keyboard shortcuts, all you have to do is click on the icon on the taskbar and you can choose where you want to put the application manually that way too. Now the last multitasking tip I have is using two displays. For those of you who are not that techie, I know it could be a little scary having more than one screen on your desk, but it really isn't a scary thing to do. It makes your life so much easier to drag things around back and forth. And honestly speaking, once you have two displays, it's really hard to go back just having one display. And when you combine the multiple displays with my other tips earlier in this video, the possibilities are endless. You can put one Chrome profile on one screen, your other Chrome profile on the other screen. You could have multiple desktops on each screen, mix and match. You can make it extremely complex or keep it really simple, whatever you want it to be. If there are any tips I didn't talk about in this video that you find are really helpful for you, please leave them in the comments below and share your knowledge with us too. I'll also leave a link in the description below if you want to download the Spectacle app. It is a free download. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I post videos every week and I'll see you guys next time.